guys, it's Lucy from Lulu Rocks and I am currently prepping for my Etsy fair so I thought I'd bring you along with me. There's a lot to do and I just thought it would be quite fun to show you a little bit of the prep side and hopefully take you along on the day and kind of show you what goes on. It would be great if you could like this video and if you could give me a subscribe that would be amazing. Let's do this! So I've got a bit of an issue. I sent my stock off to a local craft fair. And they asked for all of the items to be individually priced. I basically put these little price tags on everything. And I don't want them on there for the Etsy fair that I'm going to. I just tried to peel one off. It didn't go well. So I've got three choices really. I either leave them as they are or attempt to peel it off and just take a bit more care or rebag them. So, for my Etsy market, I have made some little presents. I've got this one. And a little one in the same wrapping paper. And unicorn wrapping paper! Like, oh my god! So, oh, these Mm. are actually so that I can display my little gift tags. Which are little Christmas trees. Got this white glittery one and little silver ones and holographic of course because I am the holo queen. I love anything that's holographic. So anyway, yes, I made these little presents so that I can display my gift tags and they come in a pack of six. You get two of each color in the pack with the little ribbon I don't attach the ribbon, it is kind of make it yourself because everyone loves a little bit DIY, right? Okay, so when you've got a craft fair, who doesn't love some last minute products? So what I have got is my brand new pins which have just come in. So I have been carding these. Normally I actually get the backing cards made by the company who make the pins and they basically put all the pins on the cards for you. It's amazing. However, it's quite expensive. This time around I bought my backing cards from printed.com and it's like half the price maybe even less than half the price and I've got these cute little rounded corners as well which is awesome so um yeah I have got to basically put all the pins on the backing cards myself I've still got so much to do for this Etsy market and a lot of packing a lot of packing also last minute I have made some little art prints so I will give you a little tour this one is actually a little quote from uh, The Greatest Showman. And then I've also got a little Harry Potter one. This one is a little quote from Dumbledore. And then my last one is a Walt Disney one. And again, I love it. I love a little motivational kind of quote or print. So yeah, I thought I'd give those three a go, all in pastel colours. I've just printed out two of each design. That's it they're going to come with me to the Etsy market and I'm going to see how they go. So I'd love to know what your view on art prints are. Do you love them? Let me know in the comments whether they're your thing or not. I've got a little collection on my wall because um, a lot of sellers, you know, include them in your orders, which is great, like little postcard ones and things like that. And I actually really love them. Okay, so I am quickly losing light. Um, the next task, I think, is actually to start packing up some stock and fixtures and things like that. But what else have I got to do? Oh, yes! My friend Emily, my very good friend Emily, who dropped my pins off last night for me, as well as a load of other stuff, phoned me earlier on today and said my patches have arrived at work. So I didn't actually think that I was going to have them for the Etsy fair, and they've arrived. So she 
bless her heart, is going to drop them off for me this evening after work, which means that I've actually got to put all of those on backing cards as well before Sunday. And I do have a few last minute bits to print off as well. So, oh, fingers crossed, guys. Okay, so today is the day. We are off to the Etty Market. Etty Festive Market, there's Paul. <laughs> everything's ready everything's in the car pretty much we've just got a couple of other bits to take with us and then we are gonna hit the road jack and um head over to southampton so oh. i'm already tired i've been up since three o'clock like i have got bags but it's okay it's set to be a good day i've seen the decorations on instagram and it looks amazing like they've done such a good job so yeah really looking forward to seeing it getting busy it's about 15 20 minutes until kickoff so we're just gonna go put the stuff in the car I am gonna go have five or ten minutes of air because I am so so hot and then hopefully it will get busy no amount of makeup or good lighting is going to fix this face today my plan was to film quite a lot of yesterday at the Etsy market, the venue, how busy it was, doing sales, just all sorts throughout the day. And it was so, so busy. From the moment the doors opened at 11 o'clock, it was just constant on the go all day um, until closing really. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, I didn't get as much footage as I'd like. We're knackered, I'm knackered. So today's plan is to count all of my stock and get my shops back open, up and running before the last Christmas postage dates. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Sorry that the footage wasn't as great as I was hoping, but you know, that's what happens sometimes as a business owner. It's nothing ever really goes to plan. So thank you for coming along with me anyway. I massively, massively appreciate you watching my video.